What up YouTube, Ed Wesker Griff coming back with a box break video. We're going to be busting open this entire box of Upper Deck 1992 Baseball Minor League Edition. Uh, not sure how many packs are in here. It does not say on the box that I can see. It just says 12 limited edition cards in every pack. Uh, this box has some serious weight to it, so I imagine there's a ton of cards in here. Uh, and this box was a contest winning from Saul BD Kane uh, 721. So let's get this box open. Let's see what's inside. I believe the two main the two main cards are Derek Jeter and Chipper Jones. So good God Almighty, there is so many of these packs in here. They're it's just crazy. Let's take all this stuff out. So this is going to be a long video, long video, but I hope you guys enjoy. And I'm not going to name every player that's in here. I'm not going to do it uh, because this is minor league edition. So I guarantee there's a ton of players that did not make it. But there are two Hall of Famers in here that, or I should say one Hall of Famer and one soon to be Hall of Famer. So let's open these packs and get them on open. So, and I believe in 92 I may have gotten some of these cards. There's an ex-Philly, Chad OJ. Um, but I was born in 1989. So, I was super young when this came out, but I do remember, I do remember these cards being in my card box, so, back in the day, maybe my dad or my mom, maybe for a Christmas stocking stuffer, bought some of these. There's a bat flip there. Bad flip in 1992. I imagine that did not go over well. <laughs> Look at that correlation. Uh, that's some serious correlation right there. That's like three cards we already got. Mike Grace. Remember him? Again, I'm only going to say the names of the players that I recognize and that I, I know for a fact made the majors. You get your Bina. I'm pretty sure he murdered somebody. Bobby Jones. I'm pretty sure he made the majors. Eduardo Perez. Pretty sure that's the guy that works for ESPN and was the Marlins hitting coach. He made it. Sean Ryan. As a Phillies fan, I do not remember that guy at all, so I'm assuming that nothing really happened. Raul Mondesi. I remember him. He was a great 90s player. His son's doing real good for the Royals. I'm going to put that card to the side.
just think of how crazy the late, I mean, if you think about it, the 80s and early 90s with all the, I mean, there was so much overproduction of product. Just think of all these boxes of like, I don't know, like 89, I mean, even, even a great product like, even a, dare I say, iconic product like 1989 Upper Deck, there's still boxes and boxes and boxes of that stuff just in storerooms and collections and people's basements and garages and attics just uh they made uh, millions and millions and millions of that stuff i mean just think this this box was made in 1992 and it's been sitting in someone's closet and then got to Saul's collection and then was given away on youtube as a contest prize and now here i am open on youtube just think of the journey that box took. Scott Hatterberg. What up, Moneyball? That's pretty crazy to think about. Cliff Floyd. We got a foil there. Pretty sure Cliff Floyd did make the majors. I distinctively remember playing... Uh, I distinctly remember him being on the Nintendo 64 baseball game I used to play. I think MLB, what what was it? MLB 99 with Jeter on the cover. So, always used to be the Tampa Bay Devil Rays in that game. Was it the Devil Rays or was it the Rock? I don't know. I think the Rockies had the crazy offense in that game. A couple years ago, I tried replaying that, find my old N64 to hook up and play that game, and you have to constantly, you know, blow into it to uh, get the game to work. And uh, it would always freeze up come the fifth or sixth inning. Doesn't matter how many times you got the game on, it would always freeze up. So it'd be kind of annoying to try to play the game. Derek Lee, he made the majors, had a pretty good career. Cliff Floyd, there he is again. Ah, oh, here we go, Derek Jeter. Boom! We got a Jeter. That's a cool card. Definitely put that to the side. Guy's going to get 100% of the vote, probably, for the Hall of Fame. Let's see how many Jeters we can get. It'd be pretty cool if we got, like, a ton of Jeters. Come on, 90s correlation. So I'm going to go through these a little quicker because if I keep going the pace I'm going on, it's going to be like a 50-minute. Oh, Doug Glanville. Really solid player for the Phillies. I'm going to put that aside. It's a cool card. But, yeah, if I keep going at the pace I'm going at, because I can see the name here on the back, this is going to be a super long video. And we got tons of packs left. I just said I was going to go through these cards quick, and here I am lollygagging around. That card is way off-center. Holy crap, that is off-center. kind of wish I was doing this live, but I don't have a webcam. I have the ability to go live, because I, I do meet the requirements that I think YouTube has changed. But I don't have any device... To go live. I don't have like a webcam or a good camera to do it. So definitely need to maybe look into getting one of those. I didn't get Chipper yet. Where are you at, Chipper? Larry Jones, where are you at? 
Oh, Rondell White. He's mentioning in a Lawrence Armstrong, a Lawrence Arms song, the punk band from Chicago. I highly doubt anyone listening listens to the Lawrence Arms. That's a very obscure reference. Johnny Damon. Look at that. That's a good one. Put that to the side. I, mean, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, but definitely had a very good career. Troy O'Leary, he was, uh, he made it. Tony Clark, wow, there's a 90s uh, Tigers player for you. He was solid. Tony Clark. Tyler Green, holy smokes. He was uh, not that good for the Phillies. I remember him in the 90s at the vet, serving off homers all the time. Dimitri Young? Oh, my God. Dude, for some odd reason, I thought Dimitri Young was way later in the 90s. Alex Gonzalez, the guy Cubs fans should blame for that disaster in him back in 2003. Not, uh, what's his name? Bartman. Bartman, blame Alex Gonzalez for being a shitty shortstop. There he is. Chippa Jones, baby. Larry Jones. All right. We got Chipper and Jita. Oh, the Giambino. Look at that. What a mullet. Wow. That was a good pack. If you were at the local grocery store or whatever, and the owner of the store had a box of this stuff, and... You picked out that pack, boy, you'd be happy. That was a winning pack. So we got one of each, so it's already a win. Mike Kelly, don't remember him. That was definitely a, a winning box. Uh, we got one of each. But now let's see if we can get some of that good old 90s correlation or late 80s correlation and get a couple extra of each because... Uh, yeah, I want to be a little greedy. I want a couple jeters. See? You get your Bina. That's like the fifth time I got that guy. Paul Bird, very solid pitcher. All-star for the Phillies. It is kind of annoying how these cards are like backwards, forwards, and every other side. Thankfully, they're nice and clear so I can see who's who. Tyler Green for the Red and Phillies. I'll put that to the side only because it's a cool and in, cool little insert. Stack here, a mountain of cards already. Let's get some more Jadas. I hope people aren't getting mad that I'm not like showing every card off, but I mean, this is minor league edition. Oh, Mike Lieberthal. That's a great card. That's awesome. That's for the Phil's PC. I'm going to put that to the side. Mike Lieberthal had a really good career with the Phils. Uh, pretty much played his entire career with the Phillies. David Bell, that's another pretty good one. P pretty much played his entire career for the... Oh, another Chipper Jones. Boom. That was good. Um, but Mike Lieberthal pretty much played his whole career with the Phils. Spent like a half a season with the Dodgers, I think. But he did good. All-star for us multiple times. I definitely want to speed up a little bit, though, because 
I just noticed my camera's uh, set the uh, battery's getting very low. Rondell White, there he is again. And we got a lot of packs to go. Actually gonna open another pack, speed this up a little bit. So there's three packs right here. Let's go through. There's the Phillies again. I have a feeling people are like screaming at their phone or their computer saying, why are you not turning the cards around or whatever, but there's just so many cards to go through and the camera's getting low. I mean, you definitely got your money's worth when you bought a box of this stuff. Nowadays, what do you get? Like, you're lucky to get like 50 cards in a blaster box. You get like 50 cards in three packs here. There's Doug Glanville again. Bubba Smith. I'm sure it come with an egg is a Bubba Smith super collector. So those three packs, no, no jeters or no chippers. We did get two chippers though, so that's pretty decent. I'll tell you what, if I get another chipper, I will give it to some, I will give it away to somebody in the comments, randomly pick somebody. There's an Archiambi. There's, there's another chipper. So, that's a different photo. So, I don't know how many chippers are in here. Like variations of the card but I will give away one of the chippers now that I got three of them so if you are still watching the video which I highly doubt anyone out there is still watching the video but if you are still watching you know put your comment down below whatever you want to put but say hey congrats on getting Larry Jones don't put Chipper Jones put Larry Jones so if you put Larry Jones I'll know that uh, you watch this whole thing through and uh, I'll, I'll do a random little drawing and pick somebody Come on, where's Jada at? We want the Jada. I was recently watching Nolan Elite Co. 3. He did a box of uh, 89 Upper Deck, and that dude's on pro status. Like, he just, like, zooms through this stuff and opens the stuff, like, super fast. Uh... Me, on the other hand, slow and slower is my speed.
So we are coming down almost to the end here. Alright, gotta move this pile. We got a pile of cards here. Ron Lockett. Do not remember that guy for being on the Phillies. Mike O. Remember Ron Lockett? Cliff Floyd. I can't believe we might only get one Jeter in this gigantic box. There was like, how many, we went through like hundreds of cards. The box knows, man. The box is intelligent and knows that Jeter is the, is the best card. And it's like, you know what? Give, give this guy one Jeter. Alex Gonzalez. There he is again. Manny Ramirez. That's a good one. Put that to the side. Alex Ochoa. I remember that guy. Oh, the Expos. Rest in peace. Couldn't find the name. Trevor Hoffman. There you go. That's a good one. Dude, we got some good cards out of here. There were some good players to be had. Sean Green. Alright, we got three packs left. Will we get another Jeter? Another you get your Bina. Seriously? Throw that card into the fire. I got like five or six of him. Alright, two packs. There's Manny. Manny Ramirez, that's a good one. Put that to the side. Michael Tucker. Alright, last pack. Let's see. It is cool though that we got three Tripper Jones, a couple of Manny Ramirez's, and we at least did get one Jeter. How crazy would that be if we didn't even get one Jeter? At least we got one. Yep, just one. So, there it is. The one and only, the one Jeter. And I did get several Chipper Jones car. I got three Chippers. One, let's put Chipper aside, two, so here's Chipper, one Batten, and two Fielden. So I'll give one of the Fielden ones away, like I said, all you gotta do is just leave a comment down below, just put, hey cool Larry Jones or whatever, just put Larry Jones in there. And I'll know you watched the whole thing. So that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Saul, thanks for 
Uh, the contest winnings greatly appreciated. It was a lot of fun opening up these cards. Uh, and yeah, really appreciate it. So have a great one, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.